What's up guys, today I've got a battle for you against a guy named Mick Missile. Um, he's on my Skype. I can't remember where exactly I met him from though. But, anyways, it was a good battle. It's a monotype battle too. Even though he brought a firefighting type, not, not sure if you're allowed to bring one other kind. But, anyways, he's gonna lead off with his vamp, his crobat. So he's gonna, he has a poison team, whereas I have a bug team. I'm gonna lead off with my Asian bug, my, uh, what's that thing called again? Yeah, Mega. I'm gonna go for Tech to get my speed boost. And, yeah. I'm gonna go for Air Slash. I'm gonna miss. And he's gonna go for Hypnosis and miss. And I'm just gonna get another speed boost out of it. So, it's kinda good, I guess. I'm gonna go for Air Slash. And do a crap amount of damage while he gets Toxic off and poisons me. It's not really a big deal, cause this guy's probably not gonna stay in very long anyway. So now my bug's poisoned, but he gets another speed boost, but he's going to be outspeeding anyway. I'm going to go for hidden power. I forget which kind of hidden power I have on this guy. Just going to use it anyway. So it's probably rock because it did a good amount of damage. He's going to go for taunt. Don't know why. And taunt me from only, so that I'm only locked into using offensive moves, even though it's the only kind of moves they have on this guy. going to go for another hidden power and kill the crowbat. And the crowbat is out of it. So I'm up to an early 6-5 lead. And my Pokemon's poisoned. It's not allowed to use status moves. And it needs like plus 4 speed or something. I'm going to go for Air Slash to this muck. Try to flinch it. But he's going to go for Haze and delete all of my speed boosts. Which is kind of retarded. But it doesn't really matter because I'm going to outspeed it anyway. So it was just kind of a waste of a turn on his part. Um, I'm gonna go for hidden power, see how much I can do to this muck. And it's probably not gonna do very much. A crit, and it didn't do much. He's gonna go for gunk shot, and kill my Yen Mega. Asian bug fainted, and the muck's gonna get restored from his leftovers. So I'm gonna send in my ugly bugly, my Volcarona that, you, that I haven't used in a long time. He's gonna withdraw his muck and send in his, uh, Tentacruel. As I go for a fire gem boosted flamethrower. And I think I'm going to get that thing down to uh, half. No, it's a little bit over half. He's going to get HP from his leftovers. And I'm going to withdraw my Volcarona. Because I don't want it to get any status or hurt or anything. So I'm going to send in my enemy. My uh, fortress as he gets toxic spikes off. But that's okay. Because I've got the uh, rapid spin on this guy. He's gonna go for scalding and a burn on my fortress. As, as I go for a rapid spin, get rid of his spikes. Just some map turn effects. They're kind of annoying. Um, I'm gonna withdraw and send in George Bush the third. My uh, Axel Gore. He's gonna go for toxic spikes again. As I predicted that for him not to attack. And what I do right here is pretty awesome. I'm going to go for Final Gambit. I'm max HP, max speed, so I know I can outspeed pretty much everything. And I'm going to kill myself just to kill a Tentacruel. And bye bye Tentacruel. <laughs> so now that he can't set up any more entry hazards, as I send in my uh, Fortress, and he's going to send in his Infernape. I'm going to go for Protect, see what he's going to do to me. He's going to go for Close Combat. I'm perfectly fine with that because I've got enough defense on this fortress to survive at least one even though after this burn damage. So I'm just going to let him close combat me. And he's going to take me down pretty low, 48 HP. And I'm going to go for rapid spin and get rid of the entry hazards. So I can safely send in anything I want now. Just going to let my anime die. He's going to go for another close combat. So I'm guessing he doesn't have mock punch or he's choice in some way. So my uh, thing's gonna faint. I'm gonna send an ugly bugly because I know the Infernape's got like minus two uh, special defense now. Minus three after this. So now I can just uh, oh yeah I went for quiver dance so now I'm gonna outspeed the Infernape. So I know that the ape isn't scarfed because he'd probably still outspeed me. Probably choice banded. I'm going to go for the flamethrower, 
and kill the Infernape because it's minus 3 even though it's not very effective. The crit did not matter at all. And he's going to send in his Drapion. I'm going to outspeed that thing, go for a flamethrower, and kill the Drapion. Drapion, whatever. And now he's going to send in his Demon, Gengar. Guess what? Outsped. Flamethrower is going to kill that too. Or almost. But I've got enough special defense for my Quiver Dance to be able to take that Shadow Ball. And he's going to get HP back from his uh, Black Sludge. But the Master is not. And I'm going to kill it with another Flamethrower. And now he's going to send in his Muck. I'm just going to Flamethrower that. And I believe that's going to be the game. Nope. <laughs> he's going to go for Gunk Shot and miss. But if he hit, he would have killed me. But then I would have just killed the Muck with something else. And I think that's the game. So, anyways, uh, good game, Chet, or Mick Missile, whatever you want me to call you. And be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.